Hi there, Darren from Guarantee Fitness here again. Uh, just wanted to uh, go over the um, second part of my little series here um, about stopping emotional eating, how you can stop that. Um, thanks for tuning in tonight, taking your time out of your schedule to, to watch. Um, tonight, um, I kind of wanted to carry on from what uh, my last video. Um, something else you would want to do to um, help kind of help you get on the right track for stopping the emotional eating is to write, you know, get a journal, um, notebook, you know, or write, you know, use your phone, you can use apps on your phone or iPads or computers or whatever and just kind of keep some, something that's easy and you can grab it, you know, it's convenient for you, it's easy to, to keep track of and you can keep it close by so you can have it throughout the day. Um, and you want to you know, just write stuff down in that. You kind of want to write down like, you know, the time of day that you're feeling hungry or you think you're feeling hungry you know, how you're feeling, you know, about feeling hungry, you know, are you kind of in a bad mood, are you angry, are you lonely, you know, something like that. Um, and then, you know, why are you feeling that way? You know, you want to write all this down in the notebook. Um, and the why is, that's kind of the key thing, um, you know, because it could be something that happened, you know, you might have gotten a fight or something a long time ago or something, or got an argument with somebody or you know got fired or something you know months ago and you're still holding on to that anger and inside of you that you want you know and it just every time you think about it or it kind of cross or something similar happens you kind of you know you kind of reach for food to comfort you or whatever um but uh anyway um so you want to do that you want to write everything down um if you're craving a certain food like chocolate or pizza or beer or something like that um you know we all do that right i know i do um but you want to write down um, what are you craving, you know, what are you feeling, you know, what were you feeling whenever you started craving that food, were you, you know, feeling any kind of emotions or anything like that, um, you know, is there another way to, that you could satisfy that craving without binging on some kind of high calorie food, you know, like a double fudge chocolate brownie topped with a pint of ice cream or something, you know, hey, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it right, right? Um, but we all slip up, so don't let that, if you slip up, don't worry about that. We all do that. Um, we're all we're not perfect. We're all human. So, um, but anyway, you want to decide if it's like a physical hunger, or if it's just emotionally charged. You know, um, you know. So you as you're writing down, you know, you're writing down the time of day and stuff like that. So you kind of want to you know, know on that notebook what you've eaten. You know, when was the last time you had a meal? Um, you know, and, uh, you can kind of keep track of that. You know, just kind of decide. You ask yourself. If it's, what have I eaten recently? Why am I why, why am I feeling hungry right now? Have I, you know, has it been five hours since I had my last meal, or you know, what did I eat at the last meal? Things like that. Um, but you know, you want to decide, you know, like that. If it's you know, if it's if you haven't eaten in a while, then it's probably physical hunger. You know, like, and sometimes they say too, drink a glass of cold water or something, or drink a glass of water. To sometimes that can satiate you to get you give you some kind of. You know satisfaction for you know um, you might not really be hungry you might just be thirsty or something like that that's what they say um, but anyway because um, physical hunger can be easier to put off until later too um, than an than emotional hunger can um, so emotionally you, you want that feel-good dopamine drug chemical in your brain to you know kick off so that you can feel good you know even if it is just temporarily um, <clears throat> Um, but then you know, writing in your journal, you know, like I said, it's going to help you keep track of when the last time you was that you when it was that you ate something, or you know what you had. Um, you know, if, if it's physical hunger, you might be able to just have an apple or something that'll you know get you by. But if you're craving something, you know, an apple's not. If you're craving chocolate, you know, an apple's not going to do it. I'm sorry, but it's not. Um, so you know, you kind of want to decide that. And it's you know when we're stressed out or emotional and craving that pizza, you know it's hard to get that out of our mind because you know or even if you see you know, like if you see chocolate chip cookies sitting on a you know plate or something in the kitchen that are just fresh baked or something, you know, you're kind of always thinking at the back of your mind like, hey, there's some cookies over there, I'm gonna go eat them. You know, I want one of those so bad right now. Um, you know, it's you know it's hard to ignore because you know it's just it's there and it's, you're kind of craving it and even though you know you shouldn't have it but you really want it, you know. <laughs> Um, but you know, in these cases where the cravings are for an unhealthy choice, food choice, we must you know think about alternatives. Um, is there something else like if you're craving chips or something? Is there something else that you could have in place of that? Like maybe some hot air pop popcorn or something like that. Would that do the same thing? Um, you know, or 
or if you can make some kale chips, um, those actually aren't too bad um, if you make them the right way. <laughs> uh, those are actually are uh, could be a quick substitute for chips if you just eat them real fast. <laughs> um, but they're not too they're really not too bad. It's, it's not as bad as I thought it would be whenever I I made them once. Um, you know, you could have something like that. Um, you know, if you're craving something sweet, you know, you could have like an apple or, you know, some kind of sweet fruit, watermelon or some kind of melon or something like that maybe um, to kind of substitute for that. And sometimes if you're feeling like, if you're feeling lonely or you're feeling, you know, anxious or something, you, know, you just, you know, you, you're, you're kind of one just, you're kind of getting, find yourself getting up and just going to the refrigerator or something to get something to eat. Sometimes you could do an activity or something that would take your mind off of it and get you out. Like if you're feeling lonely or something like that, you could maybe, you know, go to the park or, you know, if you've got a dog, get your dog and, you know, take the dog for a walk or something, you know, you maybe you could use the exercise. The dog probably love to go out for a walk with you. So, you know, you could kind of, you get your exercise in and, you know, and, uh, and get your mind off of the, you know, emotional eating. Sometimes they can help you with the any kind of stressful situation you're with or whatever. Um, or just getting out around other people, you know. You, you know, sometimes that helps some people um, get out and get some vitamin D from the sun, which we all need. Um, but, you know, things like that. Because um, I know when I take my dogs out for a walk, you know, we always, it's always fun. You know, they always help me get my mind off of stuff and off of a stressful day at work or something. And... And it always helps me out a lot, you know. I mean, even if we have to stop and, you know, sniff all the fire hydrants in the neighborhood and all the trees and everything. And <laughs> it seems like I think we've got the cleanest fire hydrants in town um, where I live. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, you could just, you know, if you're feeling tired or lethargic or something, you know, like I said, just get up and go for a walk, go for a hike, you know, to take the dogs out or whatever. Um, you know, so just kind of, you know, keep writing stuff like that down in your journal and, and kind of keep track of it. And that can kind of help you go back and and figure out why you're doing the stress eating and stuff and help you get, you know, get past that. So anyway, um, I'm kind of rambled on here long enough, I think. I, uh, so uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions um, or if you think my information might help somebody or something or you feel will use for something, please share. I'd appreciate it. And um, you know, like I said, reach out to me for any questions or tips or anything like that. And uh, thanks. We'll watch you on the next video.